we found some amazing Class C RVs that are under 25 feet and will fit in almost all national parks. So stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hi, everybody. Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera, and Susan's behind the camera. And today, we're doing some walkthroughs of Class C RVs that are under 25 feet. These RVs are very easy to drive. They fit in most national parks, and we think you will love some of the floor plans that we found. Hey, if you've seen our YouTube channel before and you're back, welcome back. We really appreciate you checking us out again. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing, and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group, which we invite you to join, called RV Camping for Newbies, where you can learn with other RVers all about RVing. So today, we're going to be taking a look at Class C RVs under 25 feet, amazing floor plans. Without any further ado, let's get started. This Class C RV is the Coachman Freelander 21 RS. It's 24 feet, 7 inches long, and it's a pretty cool Class C RV. Very, very common when you walk in the front door, you've got your cab off to the right hand side and then you have a nice bunk above but one thing that's really nice about this is a super high ceiling so you don't feel so cramped when you're sleeping up here also there's a tv with a nice big swing arm at the end and then you can watch tv while you're laying in your bunk or while you're lounging over here in the dinette area and this dinette serves as both your eating table or you can sit here and relax and watch tv or it also can become a bed for one other person to sleep in. Now, in our Class C RV that's also less than 25 feet, you know, we are constantly getting up from the cab and walking into the back of the RV, and the dinette is just kind of in the way because it comes out past the driver's seat. Well, Coachman's done a really neat job fixing that problem. Where now that slides in, and this just feels so much better to, to walk in here now. It's really, really a cool solution. And now Susan wants me to go ahead and rearrange our dinette in our RV. <laughs> so we're glad we saw this. It's a cool feature. We've been trying to figure out what to do with our dinette. And this is a really, really good idea. Uh, also, you'll notice in here there's storage above. We've got the window shade closed to avoid glare, but there's a nice big window here as well okay so the kitchen area right across from the dinette has a almost residential size sink to it it's a big double bowl sink big old gooseneck faucet uh, storage of course is down below that next to that you have a three burner range no oven down below but a very nice big storage drawer and another drawer below that then you have your microwave storage above and really big storage up here one other nice thing is they have a pantry cabinet with drawers that slide out as well. You could put a bunch of canned goods or other things in there and they won't go flying all over the place. Then just beyond that, we have the refrigerator and they have a separate fridge and freezer, which is very nice as well. Right across from that, you've got this cabinet, which is even more storage space for your kitchen. Now we're back here in the owner's bedroom and it has a queen size bed, window above, storage above that with a night light mounted underneath. It does have a little bit of a, a ledge on one side that you could use to charge your phone or what have you. There are some receptacles and USB plugs over here as well. And then we have a big wardrobe cabinet. These cabinets kind of sound a little loose to me, but it's a big old cabinet. And then down below that, you have some drawer space as well. So here we are inside the bathroom. I'm inside the shower, and there's probably about six inches of space over my head in the skylight. I'm 5'11 tall, so you know you could be 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and fit in here just fine. I like the fact that the shower curtain is on a track, and the track sort of bows out away from the shower, so it keeps the shower curtain off of you as well. And then, of course, you have your mirror, your vanity, storage down below and then above the commode 
There's a corner cabinet for additional storage there. This Class C RV is the Nexus Triumph 24T, and it is exactly 25 feet long. But it feels like a very, very big RV because this entire side of the RV slides out from front to back. But starting at the front of the RV, there's a very spacious over cab where two people can easily sleep up here. You can mount a very large TV up here as well. And with the TV mounted in this location, it works out great for viewing the TV from the dinette. The dinette itself easily seats four people and it also converts into another bed so you can sleep somebody right here. Directly across from the dinette, we have a nice inline kitchen setup, decent sized kitchen sink, a little bit of countertop space, three burner stove, no oven down below, but honestly, I don't think we've ever used our oven once and plenty of storage space in both locations. Above, you have a really nice size microwave oven and more storage as well. And then next to that, you have this really good size freezer and separate refrigerator, uh, really nice and deep and big. This is a great size fridge. Now we move into the back of the RV and as we get into the bedroom, we have this just massive wardrobe closet and additional storage as well. This is three feet deep, by the way. So if you want to reach anything back here, you kind of have to step up <laughs> to reach the back of this closet. So there is just tons and tons of room in here. And then you have these nice deep drawers that slide out as well. Back here in the bedroom, it's got a queen size bed, nice big window over top, and then it has storage with reading lights mounted underneath of it. All right, so here I am in the bathroom and there's a good amount of headroom over my head here, probably a good eight inches. I'm 5'11", so you could be pretty tall and comfortable inside the shower. The only thing I don't really like about it is it's not very wide. It's only two and a half feet wide. It does have a shower curtain on a track, which I like because it keeps the curtain from blowing in on you. Moving outside of here, we have a storage uh, compartment above, a medicine cabinet, good size vanity with lots of counter space and storage down below. This Class C RV is the Dynamax Asada 3 24FW and it's 24 feet 7 inches long. Uh, it is an extremely luxurious Class C RV. Starting up front you'll notice in the driver's cab it's got the Mercedes symbol on the steering wheel which lets you know that it's built on a Mercedes chassis. Both of the captain seats are very very comfortable and there's no big hump in the middle like you'll find in a lot of Class C RVs. Over top of the cab, there's a bunk up here that two people could easily fit into. And then moving back through, we have this very comfy couch setup, which also converts into a bed. But it's also your dinette table with these two swivel chairs, or swivel tables, sorry. And um, I guess the way it's set up is that four people could sit here because there are four cup holders. But I really like this setup. Susan especially likes this setup. And uh, we think it's really, really efficient. Right across from the couch, you'll notice that the TV is mounted kind of above the door and above the bunk. So you can enjoy watching TV either from the couch or while laying in your bunk above. And then we get into a fantastic inline kitchen setup. Starting from the top, you have some nice cabinetry up here microwave oven then you have a lot of countertop space with a deep single bowl sink down below big old gooseneck faucet three burner range there is no oven down here but there are drawers that slide out and there's also storage underneath of the sink right next to the microwave in the range the refrigerator sits and it is a good size fridge and separate freezer and then above that there's a little bit more storage space as well. Now, right across from the kitchen area, as we move into the bedroom, we have just a gigantic wardrobe closet, lots of storage space with drawers that pull out. This is just a really nice setup. The drawers, uh, some of the drawers, like down here and the back of the wardrobe closet are all lined with cedar. So that's a really nice touch that they put in here. Back in the owner's bedroom, there's a queen size bed. There's a little nightstand on this side. 
and a little cubby hole on the other side. Can't really see it from here, but in either place, it gives you a place to set your phone, charge it up overnight. Directly across from the bed is where you would mount your TV. All right, here I am in the bathroom, and one thing you'll note right away is this incredibly fancy Italian marble. I'm kidding. It is an acrylic finish. It looks just like a ceramic tile uh, that you would put in an upscale bathroom, but it just feels really, really nice and rich in here. Also, it has a nice shower curtain on a track to keep everything out of your way. And then moving around through the bathroom, we have a very nice medicine cabinet with a vanity sink, lots of countertop space, and storage down below. Let us know which one of these Class C RVs is your favorite in the comments down below. We hope you've enjoyed checking them out in our video. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of the boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do. And remember to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we release a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.